Welcome back. Well, as we continue to track some showers and thunderstorms out there, a couple of them got even a little bit strong for a short period of time. We had a severe thunderstorm warning across east and west Baton Rouge Parish for a matter of minutes at about 30 to 40 minutes this afternoon, all kind of faded by early evening. You can see the rest of the area. All those storms are now starting to collapse, and it looks like we're going to have a pretty quiet night ahead of us, a little bit of cloud cover. But again, the threat of severe weather has diminished this evening. So tomorrow we're going to start out with some early sunshine, and I think more sun sunshine throughout the entire day, probably the driest day in the week as we'll go mainly dry, maybe one or two quick little showers out there. But again, if you need to cut the lawn, do it tomorrow because of the rest of the week, possibly even the weekend could be quite soggy at this point. We're watching that tropical wave out in the Gulf and what it's going to do is it's going to bring a surge of moisture towards us. And as you see here, as soon as we step in the Thursday, scatter to numerous showers and thunderstorms, a lot of heavy rain near the coast as it pushes by. Notice even going into Wednesday early on, we could be seeing widespread rainfall throughout the entire day on Friday and even some lasting storms as we head into Saturday before we finally watch the rain chance has dropped Sunday and Monday at this point. So definitely some storms Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Just be on the lookout that we could be seeing some pretty heavy downpours at times and just be cautious on the roadways. Now again, this is the latest estimates and I want to show you that most of the rainfall will be along the coast and out in the Gulf. However, localized pockets, we're obviously going to see a lot more, but the overall trend is about one to three inches now. Live tower cam 83 outside feels like 91. Obviously, we've still got gray skies out there, but at least the roadways are nice and dry. Current feel like temperatures range from rain cooled 78 in the New Roads area to 91 in Baton Rouge, 97 in Hammond, and still 105 in New Orleans. And I think that's where we're heading tomorrow. We're going to see more sunshine out there, so we're going to start pretty mild, mid to upper 70s, and look for those feel like temperatures to probably jump into the lower triple digits by the afternoon. But we're going to continue to watch that tropical wave for possible development. Right now, it seems to be a very broad low. Models aren't really agreeing on development, but what it's going to do is you notice all this thunderstorm activity, how disorganized it is. It's still going to bring all of that into southern Louisiana into the Gulf Coast as we move forward. Right now, the National Hurricane Center is currently giving it about a 40% chance of development. And you can see how broad even here again, it really doesn't close off that circulation and become a tight knit storm, but still producing a lot of heavy rainfall from Corpus Christi through Galveston all the way through Baton Rouge and even into the panhandle of Florida as we make our way into the weekend. However, we do have our next storm out there. This is tropical depression number seven. This is halfway across the Atlantic expected to be pushing its way west northwest in the coming days. You see here tropical depression number seven is expected to slowly strengthen and most likely will become a tropical storm later tonight or as we head into tomorrow. Winds could even get up to about 65 miles per hour. Now there are other models that kind of indicating that's going to go through a rough environment. It could actually fall apart before it even gets to the Caribbean, but we're going to monitor this in the coming days. Right now, it really is not a threat to Louisiana. 76 out there for tonight. Mild and muggy. We've got past those storms. But as we move forward, it's a pretty rainy pattern. By the time we get to about Thursday and Friday, highs only in the upper 80s. Overnight lows in the mid 70s out there. Some heavy showers, chance for localized flash flooding, and then still the possibility of rain as soon as we step into the weekend. Again, with rain, humidity, heat, we're going to continue to keep that Skeeter meter in the very high category.